The next type of constructor that we have is the secondary constructor. Now to create a secondary constructor, you actually do have to use the constructor keyword. And in this case, it's not optional, but it's in a different place now. It's within the body of the house. So you just type in constructor and then you open up parentheses and it actually comes with a body. So if you want to run some code after the user passes in data, you could. And just like the primary constructor before, you just place data within the parentheses. So in this case, I could also put rooms and I could put int. I could put bathrooms and I could put double for that. And then I can put color and I can make that a string. So yeah. And then I can print LN and then I can print out some where well, I can print out the color. So I can just literally just put color and color. And boom. So when a person creates a house and we're going to show that later on, when a person creates a house and they pass in the room, bathrooms and color, this will run right after. So it'll take the color that is being passed in and it will print it out. So that is the secondary constructor.